Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm just going to do a quick video today on some of the hair products I've been trialing. Uh, I've never had ashy tones in my hair ever before. When I have put blonde in, it's always been more the warm toned blondes and that's been probably because I've, I'm naturally a dark uh, auburn or red. So it's not, I'm, I'm considered a redhead, but not really a true redhead, I guess. I mean, between brown and red. It's an unusual color, and you can probably see some of the regrowth coming back again in there. Um, it's been not quite five weeks since my last salon visit, and my hair grows phenomenally fast, and it's ready for another tidy up again. <laughs> but I have been toning it and things at home a little bit to try and maintain some of the ashy tones. It's got a really cool purple tone happening in it today because I left the toner in a little bit longer than what I normally would just to see how it would turn out. It was starting to throw a little bit of yellow again yesterday so I thought I'd, I'd get onto that and try out some new products. So something that I actually had recommended to me by my sister who does hair um, is the Fenola no yellow shampoo so i'll just hold that up there it is amazing it is so good for toning your hair so i just put a little bit in scrub it in and let it sit for a few minutes depending on how much yellow you've got in your hair is depending upon how much how much time you'll leave it in for if you've got stubborn hair that's quite naturally throws quite a warm tone i recommend leaving it in a little bit longer if you don't want a purple sort of tinge, don't leave it in too long because it will naturally sort of go that way. Um, I, however, I don't mind it. I actually like a bit of that tone in there. It works well. So how I've been working it is, I'll just grab another product. I've been combining it with the Fudge, I think it's Clean Blonde Violet Toning Conditioner. Now, I wouldn't recommend this normally as an actual toner for your hair. It's a really light purple. I don't know if I can actually show you a little bit. I don't know if you can see in that. It's quite a light violet. So if you're actually wanting something that really tones, it's probably not your, your best choice. Um, but by combining it with the Fenola, I find it creates a really nice blend. If I leave this in just on its own, it can sort of leave a little bit of a dry feeling through my hair. So I've actually been combining the two at the same time and letting it sit for say 10, 15 minutes-ish. Um, and it comes out feeling really, really soft and toned as well. So I'm using those in conjunction with each other and they're great. Let's pop those down. Off. Um, so as you can see I've got no other product in my hair at the moment it's super fluffy and you can see quite a bit of thickness on the top there as I mentioned in another video it's the bane of my existence <laughs> um, it's good and bad so I can almost style it really without product it just won't necessarily hold like that I've been using the Di Lorenzo uh, defense extinguish thermal spray with argan oil so I'll just hold that up there it I just spray that in my hair after my shower while it's still damp before I blow dry it so I've been trying not to blow dry it too much because it did get a fair whack of bleaching so it's like the second process or whatever bleaching it's had to get this color um, yeah, it's left it feeling a bit dry on the end so I've been using this as a bit of a protection and I've also been spraying it in before I go to bed at night as well and I wake up with really nice feeling hair it just leaves my hair feeling nice uh, yeah so I've been using that that's also what's helping it look a bit fluffy too I love it now for actually styling my hair I've been trialing that many different products I've never had short short hair like this so it's been a completely new experience for me and I've been like a kid in a candy store walking into the salon or hair house warehouse and going what do I buy so I've had recommended to me numerous products because there's just so many out on the market I've been alternating with a couple of different mousses I've been using a Schwarzkopf 
keratin mousse it's, it's in a black container i don't have it on me at the moment but it's actually pretty good at the moment i'm using the garnier fructus hydro curls it's um ultra strong looks like that i'm finding that's that's good as a basic mousse just to help things sit particularly in the back and on this side i like this side to be particularly sleek when i style it and this side can be a bit more voluminous and yeah so it can leave my hair feeling a little bit dry though i've noticed so there's that downside um but for the most part it's it's not too bad if you combine the extra moisture um let's set in with this spray it balances out okay i've been using the um Swatchkoff professional matte paste it looks like that just tap on here so it actually zooms in properly. That's what it looks like. Um, and it'll, inside it looks like that. And it gives it a matte finish. It's good for texturizing, so grabbing bits of your hair and just fushing, fuffing it through. <laughs> and yeah, I'm finding that's actually quite a nice product and it smells really nice too. It's one cool thing about using product, your hair just smells amazing all the time. Now I'm just going to jump over here and grab something else that I recommend. It's looking a little bit dusty, but if you're needing something that has, like, to build up the volume on the top, I don't have so much of that problem at the moment because my hair is uber thick. Um, I recommend using a height rising powder. So the one I've been trialing looks like this. It's the Matrix Height Riser and it's got a four rating for hold and it's it's cool so you lit it's literally a powder you just put it a bit of it in your hand or in your hair directly tap it in lightly you don't need too much and it just helps build up that volume on the top so that's something else i've been using and i love it um, and it holds it it's almost like a spray but without the crispy crunchy feeling However, if you do want to combine it with an actual hairspray, it can work well too, so it actually holds it well in place. So there's a few different things you can sort of do to combine it. So yeah, that's just a really basic run through as to some of the products I've been using and trying. And if you've got any more that you can definitely recommend for short hair or for styling, pop them in the comments below and I'll have a sticky and try them out. I'm up for trying out pretty much anything at the moment. Yeah, so there are just a few, as I said, that I'm trying. I definitely recommend if you want a good toning shampoo, definitely give the Fenola a try. It is pricey, but it is worth it. Um, they do a no orange as well, which I haven't tried, but I'm loving the no yellow. So thanks, Fenola. So I'll just move in a little bit closer and hopefully you can just have a look at the tone that it's put through my hair today, just from leaving it in for about 10 minutes. So you can still see a little bit of the golden tone, um, that's some of my natural colour trying to push through a bit as well. Yeah, I'm loving it, it's different, it's, it's fun, I love grey hair, I think grey white hair looks amazing on pretty much anyone. I think it's, it's, yeah, it's really great. <laughs> anyway, I'm enjoying this, this new chapter and trying this, this out. As I mentioned, if you've got any recommendations, pop them in the comments below. I'll look them up and I may even do an online review of them, depending on how I feel about it. So yeah, again, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, uh, like the video and hit the notification bell to be updated regularly as to my latest videos and content. Thanks again, guys.